Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. In today's video, I've got a massive Carrara Wagyu beef short loin. People have asked me to do this a couple of times and now I've got one. And what we're gonna do out of this giant cut is we're gonna do some massive thick cut T-bone steaks. And on this end, we're gonna do some wing rib roasts, which is a standing sirloin roast. So that's pretty cool. So let's get onto this and I'll show you what is in the short loin because it's a pretty amazing cut that people don't know of. Here you see the, bo the bone, which is the spine bone. This is the eye fillet and this big chunk of meat here is the sirloin. They're connected together. They sit each side of the spine. So that's why it's a T-bone. You see the T there, that and up here. You'll see it better as we cut it. So in a T... In a short loin, you have the eye fillet and the sirloin. So let's get into this. And we're gonna cut some big thick steaks or T-bones. Gonna cut them oh, about that big so then we can reverse sear them. Bring that back here. Our saw. Um, you can do this all at home with your normal meat saw. You don't need... Just slowly go down because you don't want to cut into the eye fillet. And you'll hear it change when you get down to the end. Here we go, there's one, get our big knife out. It's, uh, my dog's saying no other dog is having their piece of meat. There's one very big thick piece, and do another one. Again. Hold it. If you look here, when you get the feather bones, and they're very hard to cut through. See, they go up and down. So we'll just rearrange that. We can get that. So that's one of the hard things of using a hand saw over a power saw. So we're doing these this thick, so we can reverse sear them. Cut this big steak off again. These are massive. Okay, now we've taken two big T-bones off. Now we're going to make a standing wing rib. So just with the reverse sear, so we put these in our oven at 120 degrees Celsius until it reaches an internal temperature of 46 degrees Celsius. Um, and then we sear it on our big green heat and that gets it to a really nice medium rare. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get one... This is a one rib short loin. So we're gonna come about that far in. Stake down there. Exactly what we were just doing before.
here, folks. Spin this around. Put that aside. You can see the rib there. If you want to, you've got a little bit of eye fillet on that, but we'll leave that on there. So you can, you see other people cut them down here and they show the the rib sticking out of it, but I like cooking it with all this fat on it, so that goes a lot better. With this part here, we're just going to bone it out like a normal sirloin. So we're going to take the eye fillet off first. Right down there. Follow your knife on the bones. And come down. Scoop it out. Big piece of eye fillet. With the sirloin, always mark down the backbone first. I see so many people that don't, and it just makes it a lot easier to mark first. And you know what you're going for. On that side, I'll show you from this angle. Come back up the front here. And you're going to find these feather bones, which we were talking about before. There they are there. I'm just opening this up so I can show you what they look like. So there's one there. You can hear it tapping. Two, three. So we're going to start here. Peel back with the other hand. Find the bone. And just slowly run your knife down. See, I've picked up two. There's the third one. And do that again. See, just pull out. And it should just seam out. Done. Falls out. Easy peasy. So there, you have a piece of sirloin. That's just all the bone dust from the saw. Something that you can't get around. But remember, with the sirloin, you know, take off the back strap. Always take off the back strap because you don't need it. And then you can just cut these into steaks as you see pleased. And you got to eye fill it. Take off the chain. That's the chain. A lot of people try to leave that on, but you don't want to eat it. It's not very end up. That can just go for mints. Then you got a nice eye fill it. You can either stake these or keep it whole. Uh, when you're just staking these, again, nice big thick ones. One, and you got three. Three stakes there. How they go. So that is cutting a whole Wagyu short loin into different steaks uh, and to some other cuts. So you've got your T-bones, you've got your wing rib roast, sirloin steaks, and eye fillet steaks. Hopefully you really enjoyed that video and catch up on the next one. Thanks for watching.